So guys, it's happening. I'm flying to the CES. I guess all of you know what the CES is, but for those of you who don't, the CES, also called the International Consumer Electronics Show, is an annual technology conference for the consumer electronics industry. The first CES held in 1967 in New York attracted about 17,000 attendees. In 1978 the conference moved to Las Vegas and it is considered to be the single largest trade show in the United States and is held each January. The convention is launching point for approximately 20,000 new products every year and this year I'm there with Skyworth. The Skyworth Group, founded in 1988, is a global leader of smart home appliance and information technology. It ranks number 17 of China's top 100 electronics companies and has four major industries – multimedia, intelligent appliances, intelligent system technology and modern service. Now you probably know them for their televisions, because for OLED TVs and smart TVs, it's the number one selling company in China. Also Skyworth owns several other brands like the German brand Metz and the high quality set-top box brand Strong. In 2014 Skyworth also partnered up with Huawei High Silicon and they have developed the first smart TV main chip in China with independent intellectual property rights. So I'm very excited on what we will see at their booth at CES 2019. This year voice control will be even stronger than in 2018, so I expect to see most TVs with field microphones replacing the remote and also many other devices with this. Another trend will be foldable displays. However, foldables could go much deeper than phones. I'm expecting to see foldable laptops with OLED screens that extend across the entire keyboard area. This means you could open them up to monitor size or to book format or use them as a normal laptop with the keyboard as half of the touch panel. But still unsure how exactly Android and Windows adapt their OS for foldable devices. Also rollable OLEDs will be shown for sure. There is no doubt that all big brands show off their attempt on 8K TV sets. But the main standard to settle to in 2019 will be 4K finally replacing the full HD standard and I'm pretty sure that in the next half of 2019 we will see some massive discounts on OLED and 4K TVs in general. It's also very likely that there will be a rush to launch the first 5G ready phones in 2019 and Sony's desire to be the first to market could mean that the CES 2019 is the platform for the first appearance of a 5G Xperia smartphone. For all the PC enthusiasts, AMD is taking the next step. There have been plenty of signs pointing to an unveiling at CES 2019 and AMD will have a keynote for probably the Vega 2 which should turn out to be built on a 7 nanometer process. But we are maybe also seeing an Intel graphics card because Intel has been working over the past two years on their GPU technology and according to the latest reports Intel has completed the first steps of this process and is preparing now for a big big launch. As connected car tech becomes more important, we'll see also a lot of self-driving cars, improved heads-up displays and many other stuff that has been improved due to the fast network speeds and 5G data. Also several companies are building flying cars for both commercial and leisure purposes and I would love to see some news on this topic as well. Then Skywolf is also pretty big in smart home and appliances and I expect to see a lot of Alexa and Google Assistant integration. There are so many devices now with voice control that it is really hard to differentiate and bring something innovative. But I'll keep my eyes open for the best of them. Unfortunately regarding smartphones I really don't expect anything there. For new phones we'll have to wait until MWC 2019 or in between. But I'll keep you updated. Alright guys, so I think that these things will be really big at CES 2019. And also I'm very excited about CES because I haven't been there since 2015 because it's really far away and really expensive. And I haven't seen all my YouTube buddies there since 3 years and I'm really so stoked to go there. Anyways, um, I'll try to cover all the cool stuff you have seen here in this video and make a best of CS video. Also some specific product tests, maybe even a truth about series if I can get some people there for interviews to get some background information. And also something if I have time it would be the worst tech of 2019, so the worst products, which could be really really funny. But let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see because 
Two days I haven't planned anything. I want to cover actually the things you tell me. So please post them down below in the comments of what you guys want to see, what you're waiting for and yeah, all that. So I'm also very excited for Skywolf so that they have invited me because um, as you may know, YouTube is not my main job. So I have an online shop for televisions, which I sell in Austria. And Skywolf is the number one leading company in China for OLEDs, for television, smart TV. And I'm actually so excited to do something with them. And also have a look behind the scenes to see where we're going, 8K OLEDs, where's the price going, with sizes, um, next resolutions. It will be so damn exciting. So that will be super cool. Make sure to check out my Instagram. It's techmagnet__yt. So if you're at CS 2019 and you want to meet up, have a beer or maybe just a coffee, then just message me and also follow me on Instagram for updates, stories about the CES. So big thanks for watching guys. As always, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and yeah, see you in Vegas. Have a nice day and bye bye.